Hey guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. This week's game recommendation is a game called Rastan. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this. This game means a lot to me. I played this in the arcade uh, and I have a lot of nostalgia for it. So when I first got into emulation and you know when you get a big long like main rom set like the first time i really really got into emulation was on an original xbox like a, a modded og xbox and it had uh, a friend of mine modded it for me and he put like the whole main set on there and i was playing stuff like rastan on there and i was loving it and when i got my mister this is one of the first games that i put on it was already available and out for the mister now i don't usually do premium games but this for the unlock pocket is only available to Hotego patrons it's possible by the time you are watching this video it may be a public release and freely available but i like this game so much i just wanted to feature it honestly i have a lot of love for this game just listen to the soundtrack it sounds honestly fantastic guys before we get too involved if you're not already subscribed to the channel then a subscription and a like is super appreciated so I'll talk a little bit about Rastan now I played this game also on the master system but the arcade version was always my favorite uh, at the time this game came out movies like Conan the Barbarian Red Sonja were very very popular and this this just looks so good uh, on a CRT like it this 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 graphics what you're seeing now doesn't do it justice like the way it looked in the arcade it just looks so much better you know some games or a lot of games are meant to be played on those older TVs or at least with scan lines on I don't use the scan lines because of YouTube filtering I do mention that uh, quite a bit now the power-ups in here are fantastic like you get this sword that fires out a projectile you get like longer range weapons and if you have a look um, at the game kind of intro running before putting any credits in it kind of cycles through all the available options you get like here I've got a shield there which I think is a defense buff but it tells you everything that you get what the potions do what the weapons do and honestly this is such a good game it is not an easy game by any means and I still haven't completed this game because you can't brute face uh, brute force your way through this game I was gonna say brute face uh, but you can't brute force your way through this game because when you die you kind of you have to continue from certain checkpoints so if there's a really really difficult part you kind of do have to pass it you can't just put your money in and continue from there which i think is good in some senses because you can't complete the game there is uh, an element of challenge there and i thought this game was impossible to one cc but there are people that do it i remember seeing a guy in the arcade playing this and doing really really well on it the enemy types uh, in this game they're, they're mythological creatures some of them are a little bit out of proportion because like that kind of tiger lizard dragon thing i can't remember what it's called and i'm sure someone will tell me in the comments uh that should be bigger but it's smaller at least it's bigger in other games and that's really nice because you don't know whether you're going to go down there it looks like a pit but the fact that you see that mace hanging down there gives you a clue that you can go down there and it's safe and it's not that bad that it bumps you when you go down now this uh, again is a very very good weapon the sword with a projectile was good but this mace is good because it really does give you long range and the hitbox on the mace part is actually quite generous so if you're climbing up a ladder or a rope uh, you can actually get hits now i have played a little bit of this i i kind of this is kind of like where i got to there's a bit further down where you kind of have to triple rope over fire and you kind of have to wait for the timing of that but we'll talk more about that when i get there you've got your little jumping pass now approach uh, everything with caution on this game this game is difficult like games were back then i'm not the greatest at this but i still think this is one of the greatest arcade games ever made it's just fantastic so much fun to play and honestly if you're playing this on an lcd screen use uh, some crt uh, use some crt effects some shaders just something to make it look better because honestly it doesn't look that good to me at least on lcd but yeah this is definitely my game recommendation for this week i apologize it that, that at the time i was doing this this is a premium game so you have to be subscribed to hotego's uh, patreon to be able to play this on the analog pocket but there are other options to play ultimately you can join Hotego's Patreon if not it will become a public course soon this is the part I was talking about so you you kind of got to rush out because the wall comes out at you and you've got to wait for the rope to be in the correct place I did give it a few attempts and like you kind of want to take those bats out first I was avoiding them but as you can see you kind of have to wait a second time for that rope to come so you can jump there but then as I come back there the bats are just getting it at me my energy is getting drained I'm getting stressed I'm thinking jump I don't know if that bat stopped me but once you're in that fire pit you are dead 
Okay guys, well that's it for this week's game recommendation. This is Rastan, one of the best arcade games ever made. I like this game so much that I even like the sequel, which everyone hates. Part 3 of this is fantastic, I've covered it on the channel before and I'll probably cover it again. The soundtrack for this game it is second to none. It starts off this soundtrack, oh wow, the, the first level it just sounds so, so good the later on uh levels in the game sound good as well but i love the opening um soundtrack for this game the monsters are good the playability is good and this game is difficult you will definitely require skill to get through this you can't just brute force your way through it you can't pump it with uh, coins quarters pounds whatever your regional equivalent is you need skill to do this wow that lizard man kind of jumped up higher there but that's really it guys if you enjoy this kind of content uh then a like and a subscription is super appreciated let me know your game recommendations and any games i should check out but i'll see you guys around in the next video this is pixel cherry ninja out